Hey my gorgeous queens, what's good, what's popping, it's your girl Bhavna back with another exciting video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I created this beautiful, very glamorous makeup look using affordable makeup. So most of the products that I'll be showing you in this video are below 500 and I'll also be giving you options for foundations, for uh, lipsticks, blushes and everything. So the video is more inclusive. So yeah, if you guys want to see my recommendations, there are a couple of products here and there which are above 500 rupees but I think you can definitely grab them on and off. So I'll be saying this throughout the video so you'll get used to it by the end of the video. So yeah guys, if you want to know how I created this beautiful, glamorous makeup look then please stick with me until the end of the video. Let's get started. Okay you guys, so I have a bunch of makeup with me in this container here so mostly i'll try to use all the products that are under 500 rupees and i also have recommendations for you guys i want this video to be as inclusive as possible so even if there are products here and there that are above 500 they are really worth it and also of course you can grab them on and off because nika or Amazon has a great deal every now and then just keep an eye on offs and you're good to go okay so I'm feeling my bandana today it's good it's nice all right guys so to start off with I have two different moisturizers here one is the OG Pons super light gel oil free moisturizer and the second one is from the Lacme it's the peach milk ultra gel moisturizer so you guys watched me use the super light gel for so many times so we'll just switch things a little bit and I'll be using the Lacme peach milk ultra light gel moisturizer today so I spoke about this moisturizer in my first impressions video where I'll be talking about new makeup so it has a very thin formula so it just gets absorbed into your skin very quickly you might actually love this if you are an oily skin type extremely oily skin type and you just don't like the moisturizer to be on your skin Alright guys, so next step is priming your face. Now you can choose your primer according to your skin type. If you have oily skin, you can use a silicone based primer. So I have two different primers here. One is from the Wet n Wild Dewy Finish Primer. This is more on the illuminating side. So it also gives you that glow on your skin. And I have another one from the Sugar. This is the base of Glory Pore Minimizing Primer. And this one is a silicone based primer. But for today, I think I need a little bit of glow going on so I'll be using the wet n wild dewy primer so that's pretty much enough so you need to blend it very nicely all right guys so next step is foundation now for foundation I have four different options for you guys so I know fit me foundation is the OG drugstore foundation like everybody raves about this foundation I know this is one of the best foundations I use it a lot and I wouldn't take it away from it but there are equally good foundations out there which you need to try out so definitely fit me is one of them but for today's video I wanted to take things differently and show you guys other different options as well so the first one is the Rimmel match perfection foundation now this is about 500 rupees but if you could get your hands on this on and off it's a really great foundation and it also has SPF 20 so for you lazy girls out there because I am a lazy girl when it comes to applying a separate step I mean I wouldn't recommend doing that there are a few days when I'm like really lazy to apply sunscreen so this comes in handy and I am in the shade 303 true nude I am NC40 so if you are looking for a shade match if you are of my skin tone then I'm NC40 and this is my shade in the Rimmel Match Perfection foundation and the second one is from the house of Maybelline and this is the Super Stay Matte 24 hour foundation and I absolutely love this it is medium to buildable coverage and I think I like this better than the 
fit me one i mean the fit me one i usually use it when i like to go with a sheer coverage but this is always my preference and i am in the shade 312 golden so the next foundation that i'll be showing you guys is from the house of lacme and this is the lacme 9 to 5 primer plus matte foundation now i would recommend this to you guys if you are a college going girl or if you are um, a working woman so you just want a little bit of coverage and you just want to get out i think this is a really good very sheer coverage everyday kind of a foundation like it's not full coverage so this comes under a sheer coverage foundation so for today's video i thought i'll use um the Superstay Matte Ink Foundation because I absolutely love it. So you can choose according to your preference. If you just like a little bit of that coverage for a daily use, you can use this one. It's really good and affordable. You have great shade range in this. So for today's video, I'll be using the Superstay Matte Foundation. Pick that up with a brush. Go in with my beauty blender and blend everything. As you can see it pretty much covered any acne scars that I have or any discoloration that I have. I think I just need a little bit more of the foundation, just one pump of it. I have really bad pigmentation around my mouth so I need to cover that part. So for concealers, I have three different options for you guys. So I know all are above 500 rupees, but trust me, you can definitely grab them on and off. I got the Fit Me one for 290 rupees on and off. Can you guys believe it? Yeah, just 290 rupees. And the second one is the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And this is so good, you guys. But my favorite OG drugstore concealer is the LA Girl Pro. I don't know how many tubes I've gone through but for today's video I'll be using the Fit Me Concealer in the shade Golden and this is under 500 rupees. I think this is around 447 or 475 rupees or something. Just gonna do the regular concealing. So I got these concealers in the shade Golden and Honey. I just mix and match or I just use them however. So just blending it. So keep your beauty blender handy because if you have any excess product after blending, this just picks it up and gives you a very nice flawless finish. So I'm just mostly trying to use my brushes these days and I think that is less wastage of product. You just need to use your beauty blender to just to dab off or take off any excess. Okay, so the next step is setting the entire face. For that, I'm just using my Fit Me setting powder and this is in the shade 30. This is a perfect match for my skin tone. I'm NC40 again. So if you're looking for a match, this would be your shade. I however have the 25 shade as well. I kind of mix and match or I just use it according to my preference. So this is a really, really good setting powder guys. Like it gives you that coverage and also sets your face. I think this is the best drugstore setting powder I've used by far. So I'm just setting my under eyes first so that is where I crease. So what I generally do is I try to take the setting powder and push it against my wrinkles. I have a couple of wrinkles underneath my eyes so I kind of like try to press the powder so the powder gets settled into those lines and it doesn't crease so always remember to set your under eyes first because that is where we tend to crease also do the same with your smile lines as well i have very prominent smile lines so what i do is just so by doing this you're just trying to like cover them up can you see that okay so i'm just gonna dust off my entire face using another brush 
okay so next step is contouring or just adding shadows to your face now i personally love contouring and i cannot skip that step because i have a really round face and i like to contour my face so for that i'll be using the wet n wild contour palette this is in the shade dolce de leche but if you are nc40 i think you want to grab the caramel toffee i was actually looking for the caramel toffee shade but it wasn't available for a long time so I thought let me just grab this one I really really love the contour shade though it's very natural but the highlighting shade the banana powder this is a banana powder so this one however is too light for my skin tone but um, let's see how we can do a little bit of jugaad with that so yeah guys for contouring I would recommend this palette it's a huge palette like it's just half of my face. Just look at the difference guys. Contour just makes you look so chiseled, just like a supermodel. Also just hitting the jawline, gotta hide that double chin girl. So I just want my contour to be very sharp and precise so I just want to cut it. So I'll just take a brush that looks like this and I'll pick up this shade, the highlighting shade. Don't worry, I'll clean it off but just to give that prominence. See now it looks more sharp, right? Alright, so the next step is eyeshadow all right guys so for my eyeshadow palettes i have three different options for you guys one is from the nika k brand this is the autumn spice palette and it looks absolutely stunning i've used this and i really really love it so it has got all the warm tone shades and these shimmery shades are so good they are really really nice the foil shades they apply very well okay so the next two are from the wet n wild range so one is the purple eyeshadow palette and the second one is the rose in the air eyeshadow palette and this one comes a little close to the Anastasia Beverly Hills modern renaissance palette. The color scheme is pretty much same. I know these are above 500 but trust me I don't get anything for the original price. I got these two palettes each for 333 rupees and I think I got this one also on and off. I think I want to start off with this palette today. Okay so I've prepped my lids and applied a little bit of uh, setting powder okay so for my first shade I'll be taking this transition shade right here I absolutely love how they have a bigger pan for the transition shades because that is what we use the most I absolutely love the mattes in this eyeshadow palette like they blend so well the shimmery shades are little chalky but for the price you're paying i think it is a good palette so i'll be picking up this shade right here from the nika k eyeshadow palette so this is like a very nice warm orange tone shade Okay, now just taking a blending brush and just trying to blend everything together. Okay, so next step I'm gonna pick up these two shades. I'm just gonna mix them both and just apply it on the outer corners just to add more depth on the outer corners. You see I left a gap on my eye because I want to go in with a glittery eyeshadow so for my glitter eyeshadow I think I want to go with the Swiss Beauty eyeshadow in the shade Smoky Storm you guys know shit is about to get real when I apply glitter these are too good you guys these glitters are actually really nice so I'm just gonna let the glitter dry. So I think I need a little bit of loose pigment going on. So I'll be taking the Swiss Beauty Loose Glitter Pigment. This is in the shade 07. Damn, these loose pigments are so stunning, you guys. Just 
just be careful of the fallout that's it okay so for my lower lash line I'm just gonna pick up these two shades Okay guys, so there was some construction work going on so I had to do a voiceover. So next step is eyebrows. I'm just going through my eyebrows and brushing them thoroughly with a spoolie. Okay, so for eyebrows I have three options. One is the L'Oreal Brow Pomade and this is in the shade Brunette. And the second one is the Miss Claire Brow Cake. And the third one is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit. For today, I'll be using the pomade from L'Oreal. I really love using pomades because I think they just give you a really natural finish. And I love the waxy texture that they have. So here, I'm just going to clean my eyebrows using the LA Girl um, concealer. And I'm just going to pop my lashes. Okay guys, so they finally decided to stop the construction work so I can speak properly. So I went ahead and popped on a pair of lashes. So these are the pack lashes in the number 53. Just putting on a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes. So next step is blush. For that I have two options. One is the Wet n Wild blush in the shade Mellow Wine. And the second one is the Sivana blush palette and I love this palette it's so good it has all the beautiful shades it also has contour shade highlighting shade and all the different uh, pink tone shades so that is very versatile so for today I'll be using the palette the Sivana colors palette so the next step is highlighting so for that I have uh, the master chrome and the second one is the sugar highlighting palette for today i'll be using the sugar one because we are going for a very natural glam just kidding i mixed both of them and just applying on my face hitting the cheekbones and everything so next step for lipstick i have two options one is made easy and the second one is best babe i think i'm gonna go in with best babe yes i love this shade it's a beautiful pinky nude shade I love this for everyday use. Such a beautiful shade, guys. Okay, so to set my face, I again have two options. One is the Flower Beauty and the second one is the Wet n Wild. I'll use the Flower Beauty for today because it's really natural and gives you that dewy finish. And then I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender to just press it into my skin so it looks all natural. And then I'll be going in with my Miss Claire transparent brow gel I absolutely love this brow gel I cannot do without this and this is the final look you guys So that's it for today's video guys i hope you all liked it if you did then please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel i would really love to bring more of such content for you guys so yeah i'll see you in my next one